Right. So we're diving deep today, folks, mm. and uh, getting into some pretty cool stuff. It's all about Gorilla Beats. Gorilla Beats, yeah. A music production company. Yeah, really changing the game. That's exactly right. And we've got some excerpts here, some snippets of information, giving us a little peek behind the curtain, you know, how they do things. Yeah how they're changing the industry. And it's I think it's really fascinating. I think so, too. I think it's really interesting what they're doing, especially for producers, you know? Yeah. Really kind of turning things on their head. Absolutely. I mean, just to start off, right? we got to talk about Unorthodox. Yeah. That's the producer who started it all back in, what was it, 2016? Yeah, 2016. I mean, even the name, right? Unorthodox. Yeah. Kind of says it all, doesn't it? It does. Like, they're not playing by the old rules, you know? Well, they're not afraid to shake things up. And, you know, thinking about it, he was a producer, right? And producers traditionally haven't always had the most, uh, well, control. Right, right. Over their own work, their own careers. Yeah, they're kind of the unsung heroes, right? Yeah. Like behind the scenes, making the magic happen. Exactly, yeah. But not always getting the recognition. Exactly. And that's what's so cool about Grillby. It's like... They're putting producers front and center. Yeah. Giving them the power. Giving them the ownership. And not just like a little bit of power, <laughs> but like real control, right? Yeah. Like they own their beats. Yeah. That's the key, the ownership. They actually get to sell licenses and leases directly. Cut out all those middlemen, the record labels. Oh, yeah, the record label. Yeah. And put that money, you know, right back where it belongs Yeah. in the producer's pockets. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty big deal, right? Because for so long, that's just how it was done. Right. That was the only way. Yeah. And they're saying, nope, we're doing it differently. And they're proving it can work, too. And then and then on top of that, it's not just about, like, changing things in one little corner of the music world. You yeah. Know? They've gone global with this. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's not even about being in the same room anymore. Yeah. It's about connecting producers all over the world. Yeah. We have this quote here. Being able to produce almost in any genre from locations all around the world is what made this happen, in our opinion, and is the major element which differentiates us from many other music-related companies. I mean, think about it, right? You could have a hip-hop producer in, like, New York yeah. working with someone, like a Latin trap producer in Colombia, you know? And they're making music together without ever even meeting face to face. Yeah, it's incredible. It's like that's the power of the Internet, right? Breaking the, down those barriers. Right. And it's Gorilla Beats kind of leading the charge. I know. I know. It makes me think back like to when I was starting out, you know, like s struggling to finish a track, just hitting a wall. Oh, yeah. And I just I didn't have anyone to turn to, you know, yeah. like no community, no network. And Gorilla Beats, they've created that. Yeah, they really get that like creative energy that comes from a community, right? That shared purpose. Yeah. We even have another quote that touches on this. In this way, even beat makers within our own country started specializing in the specific innovative projects Gorilla Beats was working on. That's really cool. Right. It's more than just like being on a platform together. They're actively encouraging this collaboration, this kind of like cross-pollination of ideas. Yeah, and it's working. I mean, we're talking about over a quarter million dollars in revenue they've generated. Yeah, you know, and that's huge, especially in an industry that's, let's be honest, sometimes a little resistant to change. A little. Okay, maybe a lot. But it shows there's a real demand for this kind of model, this yeah. producer-centric approach. That makes you wonder, right? What? Are traditional record labels, I don't know, are they becoming kind of like obsolete? That's a really good question. I mean, it's definitely shaking things up, right? This whole producer empowerment thing. Definitely. And then they didn't just stop there, right? No, they didn't. What else? Roll Records. <laughs> oh, yeah, their own record label. Exactly. I mean, that just blows my mind. It's like they're creating this whole ecosystem, you know? Right from the ground up. up for producers, by producers. Yeah, and it gives them even more opportunities. Yeah, like releasing full tracks, albums, even working with vocalists. Yeah. All within that Gorilla Beats network. Exactly. It's like, it's a complete system, you know? Supporting producers every step of the way. So, I mean, just to kind of, like, sum it all up, we're looking at a company that's really, like, redefining what it means to be a producer in the music industry, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's about empowering creators. It's about fostering collaboration. And it's about proving that a different model is possible, one that's more equitable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One that yeah. really puts the power in the hands of the people who are, you know, creating the music. And the question now is, like, is this the start of something bigger? Yeah, I mean, c can Gorilla Beat's success inspire that kind of, 
I don't know, fundamental shift in the music industry. Right. Like, will other companies follow suit? Will we see more and more producers demanding this kind of control, this kind of ownership? That's a really good question. Yeah. And that's something for all of you listening out there to think about. Yeah, really ponder that one. And in the meantime, go check out Gorilla Beats, their music, their platform, see what it's all about. Yeah. You might just find yourself inspired. You never know. You might even join the movement yourself. That's right. All right, that's it for our deep dive today. See you next time.